Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our tutorial about the MIT App Inventor. So for today, this will be our expected output output for our project that we'll be going today. Okay, so we have here a um, application. There is a canvas of a cat, and as you can see here, again able to draw uh, anything on the cat. You can change the color. You can have a dot. You can drag your uh, pointer. You can change the color blue. You can change the color green. And also you can uh, adjust the dot size from the smaller to the bigger or the biggest uh, dot size okay and after that you can also uh, click clear to clear all the paint color in our canvas and you can also take a picture of the actual uh, if you want to add uh, a picture to your canvas okay? you can have your selfie you can uh, take your own picture and then you can start uh, using the canvas as your uh, you can draw anything from red blue and green color okay so to do that we open a uh, application so we create a new project then start a new project uh, the, ti the title of the project is paint pot let's click ok I slide exists I just need to paint pot 1 ok so for this we need a uh, we have this first screen the designer view and we go to the title we change it to paint pot as an example and next is to go to media and choose a uh, sorry the drawing animation and choose the canvas okay. change the height to 300 pixel and the width to fill parent so we have now our canvas here and after that we'll be inserting uh, the image for this canvas so click background image click upload file then choose file go to your uh, image it's up to you what, what kind of image that um, you will be using so I'll be using a cat as my image so there is the canvas which has a cat image next is to go to the layout and drag a horizontal arrangement then we go back to user interface drag four buttons to our horizontal layout or three buttons so this will be for the red blue and green button then click the button one change the text into red and the background color into red the next with the button to change the text into blue the background color as blue and last the button three change the color or the text to green the background color as green then after that click the button one rename it to red button click ok button to uh, blue button and next is the green button it is important for us to rename our buttons so that uh, in in times of our uh, blocks okay, um, <clears throat> we can have the names instead of um, having the difficulties on looking for the button name. So after that, as you can see here, the alignment of our layout is on the left. So to make it in the center, just click the screen and 
click the align horizontal to center so we have now the red blue and green on the center of our screen then we could go back to the layout and drag another horizontal layout then go to user interface drag a button uh, at least two buttons and then one label and one slider okay so the button one is for the take picture and then change the uh, name of the components to take picture button click ok the next the button 2 here is for the clear so type clear and rename the button to clear button the next is the label so just uh, type dot size so this will be just the label for the size of our dot and for the slider okay so we put the maximum value of 20 the minimum value of 2 and the thumb position is 10 so this will be the maximum value of our dot which is 20 the minimum value is 2 and the thumb position is 10 and the width make it at least um, 100 pixels so we have the 100 pixels the next uh, let's go to media and drag a camera so this camera is in invisible components in our um, <clears throat> in our MIT app inventor so let's go to blocks so first thing to do is to go to canvas and select the when canvas one is touch so we have uh, the purpose of this is when the canvas one is touched so we go again to canvas and call a draw circle insert the uh, call draw circle and get x for the center x then get the y for the center y and let's have the radius of 5 so it's just a sample example is 5 okay so when we test our application so in here uh, as you can see if i do this okay, there's a black dot that in our screen in our canvas because we insert the when canvas one is touch the next is the uh, let's go again to canvas one so we want a drag so when canvas one is drag okay in our example so when you drag it doesn't make anything it's just the touch then let's go to canvas one and look for call canvas one and draw line okay. put it right uh, inside the drag and insert the previous x on the x1 previous y on the y1 current x for the x2 and current y for the y2 okay. then upon checking we can now see a draw line on our canvas okay so the next thing that we'll be doing is to when we click the red button the red will appear or the uh, paint color will appear red same goes to the blue and the green so click the red button here and choose the when red button is click do go to canvas look for the set uh, the paint color then go to colors choose the red then insert the set canvas one paint color to red 
so we can duplicate it then choose the green button then change into green duplicate blue button and change it to blue color blue okay. then when we check our app so we have here the blue the blue color and the green color and you can able to drag it with a green color okay so next thing is about the clear button so let's go to clear button so when clear button is click then go to canvas one look for call canvas one that clear then check let's check if we click the clear button it will clear our full canvas and we can start uh, using our paint okay so we have a green paint for this click blue it will turn to blue next is our take picture so go to the take picture button then drag it to our blocks viewer so we have take picture button do then go to camera call camera take picture okay. this is, this will open the camera application on your cell phone then go to camera click the when camera after picture so this will uh, call the picture that you capture using your camera and it will go to our canvas so to do that is to set the canvas uh, background image and then get the image from the after picture then um, put it on the when camera one that picture do okay. so to uh, make an example take picture so this will be the example and just click the check and you have the canvas with your own picture okay so next is our dot size so when we drag the dot size it will change the dot size of our um, paint color okay so to do that we need a a global name so let's initialize a global okay so uh, let's see uh, let's say that size let's rename it to that size and go to math and insert a value of 2 so this will be the uh, that size okay so with our um, slider just click our slider and when slider one position change okay so we need uh, the global size so we need to get the uh, or set the thumb position to the global size So the correct thing is uh, get the or set the global dot size to the get thumb position so that's the correct thing to do and after that is to change the radius of our touch canvas because it has a 5 value static 5 value so we remove that 5 and change it to our dot size okay so set the or get the global dot size and after that we can check our application if it is working properly so when we take clear and as you can see here we have the dot size and this will be the smallest and this will be 
the biggest that size okay. so red and green okay, that's clear then adjust the dot size okay. so that's it so that's the end of our lesson or discussion for today so if you have any question just comment down below and we'll see each other again in our next tutorial so goodbye everyone